In 2011, smoking will be banned on submarines. The decision comes after a study shows unacceptable levels of secondhand smoke when the subs are submerged. News 8's Tina Detail spoke to a veteran sailor who says this move is long overdue. For decades, smoking has been such a big part of the Navy culture that along with food, water, and other emergency rations, cigarettes were also kept in lifeboats. But that has changed in a big way. Probably about 70, 80 percent were smokers. John Carciopolo was one of the few non-smokers when he enlisted in the Navy. The number grew after that, but still about 60 percent of his fellow crew members smoked when he retired in 1997. There were certain areas that were designated as smoking areas where the smokers would go. And no more. With the new year comes a smoking ban inside all submarines. Sailors will be able to light up on deck when the submarine surfaces, but the policy change means they may have to go months on end without a smoke as long as their sub stays submerged. It'll be difficult for the smokers, but uh, it'll, they'll get it done. Uh, they'll do what needs to be done. Uh, and uh, the non-smokers have been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> Tight quarters soon to be smoke-free. Carcio Polo says the Navy, like the rest of the community, is changing with the times. And in the long run, he believes the ban will be a good thing. It's the way everything else is going. Uh, most of the corporate world, you can't smoke in the buildings and the office spaces. Uh, but they're not gone for months at a time. <laughs> so that makes it a little bit different than the corporate world. Yeah, they can step outside. They can step outside. <laughs> The submariners do not necessarily have to go cold turkey when they go underway, and that's because the Navy has been implementing cessation programs over the past few months to sort of ease them into these uncharted waters for some. On the scene in Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.